Well, Max, my favourite question in this particular circumstance is to ask, did you enjoy that? Very much so, yeah. Great feeling. Great feeling in the ground. Uh, not just one person, just the whole team. Uh, direction this club's going in. But, uh, baby steps, but that was a big night for us, definitely. And all the better for the contrast with Saturday, of course. Yeah, of course, but um, we started, look, we started well, look, let's not talk about the referee, but we definitely have to look after, see what stuff we did wrong and we let that game slip. Um, big turning points in that game, obviously, could have been 3-1, could have been stayed at 2-1, so yeah, we had to dissect that, move on. Um, definitely the coaching staff spoke about letting referee decisions go and things like that, and focus on ourselves, and we did that today. Um, the first 20 minutes was tough, very, very, very good side, spent a lot of money. Got some great players who are playing in the league. Um, so yeah, they were on top first half. They score a goal out of nothing. Um, and after that, I thought we were proper on it. And um, I thought we, I wouldn't say dominated the game, I'd say we dominated the game second half, but the last 20 minutes of the first half, I think was gave us the stepping stones in the second half to go on and believe that we can get back in the game. Do you think there might be parallels between how they went ahead and lost today and we did exactly the same on Saturday? Possibly. They scored. They conceded two goals last minute to draw a Torquay on the weekend. Again, something they mentioned at half time, and the manager said, "If we get one, this place will <laughs> will start taking off, and we'll get two. Uh, didn't expect the third one, which was a bonus. But yeah, yeah um, it's such a great feeling. And just everyone in that huddle at the end is just yeah, it's brilliant. And a word about Tav. Well, when the ball's 80 yards in the air and he can just bring it down and turn and swivel and run at defenders, at that stage, I thought. We're always going to have a chance of scoring in any game in this season. Um, he's on fire, um, his work off the ball is on fire, and we've got a lot of competition all over the pitch now, especially in that area up front. Yes, he's the one scoring goals, but I'm fully aware that George or Inny could go on such a run as well, or even myself. So we're going from a contrast from last season, we couldn't score. Obviously, tricky circumstances to we've got goals everywhere now. And it's, it's exciting for a player just playing off the front because um, you know you're going to create chances and we've got players who are going to finish them as well. So next time you're playing and Jordan Maguire Drew's playing and Innie's playing and George, <coughs> George is playing and whoever else you think of and we get a penalty, is there going to be a massive puncher no. as to who takes it? No. So who will take it? It'll be myself. <laughs> I had a feeling you might say that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think last week I said to uh, said the gaffer in the warm-up against Eastleigh, obviously I was on the bench. I said you're going to have to nominate a player because there's going to be there's going to be arguments because they were bantering about in the changing room. So I think he saw it that day. I don't actually know who he picked, but um, I think I'm still on them. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, let's hope uh, for loads more goals from yourself and, and Tav and Innie and George and everyone else, and all the very best on Saturday at Notts County because that won't be easy. Either. It's another tough game, another massive club in this league, but very exciting as well. It's going to be. Five or six thousand areas in there, and it's, uh, it's a great challenge. Can't wait. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Nice one.